On this video, I'm going to show you on how to use HTML in your blog post. WordPress has a built-in HTML editor. So when you go to write, you go to write tab, click on that, you're going to see that you are in visual mode. So let's say you're going to enter some text here. Okay. For example, we're going to promote the product which we get from ClickBank, which is acne free in three days. The title is Acne Free in Three Days. So that's the title. So let's say we'd like to put some text here. Discover how to get to be acne free in three days. If I want to have the centered, you can use the built in formatting tools here, the editor here. So you're going to, to the HTML view, you're going to see that it has these codings here. So that's, called, that's what we call HTML codings. So center and then the closing key tag. We go to the visual, so it appears that way. If you'd like to add some pictures here, let's say we're going to copy the image of this product. right click save picture as we're going to save that on the desktop so i'm going to save that as acne jpeg here's this window so use the image so what i'm going to do here is to upload this image on my server I'm going to create an image folder inside the demo blog directory. So click on this directory where I have installed the blog, click on new folder icon, and let's make a folder that's named images. Open that. Navigate through the photo, which is the acne product image. I'm going to drag it here, other images. So the file name is acne.jpg. Since we have installed that or we have uploaded the image on the directory of our demo blog, other images, the image location or the image URL would appear this way. So that would be the SRTB www and then the primary domain, your primary domain. And the directory where you install the blog, which is the demo blog. And since we have created an images folder, that, that should be images slash acne.jpg. So that would be the location of the product photo. So I'm going to copy that. Copy. And back to the blog panel, I'm going to click on this icon that says insert image. So the pop-up window appears. So I'm going to copy the image URL here. So I'm going to paste, I mean. So there it is, the image. And you see the alignment should be in the middle. Insert. So there it is. Adjust this window seems to, to view all the content. Just drag this one down. So this is a nice feature of WordPress. So there it is. And let's say, click here for more info. So I want to hyperlink this click here and I'm going to plug the affiliate, my affiliate link on this product. So let's go to our blog. So our affiliate link is located here. So I'm going to copy the affiliate link there. Copy shortcut. And link. Click on that link icon. And paste. So that's the link URL for affiliate link. And it's important to know that we're going to set this to open in a new window. So I'm going to open link in a new window. So that's it. I'm going to click on insert. So there we go. Once you're happy with this post, 
we're going to click on save so this is the html coding so once you go to the visual mode you're going to see this part so let's view in the front page if it works fine so refresh again the blog let's check on that so let's choose the category beauty click on publish i should have clicked publish available so your post has been saved so we're going to view the post here refresh the blog here it is now we have this image of the product we are promoting on this page but on the home page everything every post is listed by post date we're going to choose let's say beauty the category beauty we're going to click on that you're going to see that only the post under the category beauty is here so that's it that's all we need to know about how to use the html using the built-in wordpress html editor if you want more functionalities on editing of these tags like let's say having it this way or having more options to work on like changing fonts colors etc you may also use other html editors so in the next video we're going to cover on how to come up with a post using other html editors so this is all and thanks for watching